gases and dust. So acid rain is measured in a scale called pH. So let's see the difference of the pH level between the pure water, normal rain water, and acidic water. The difference between the three um, which is the pure water, the normal rain water, and the acidic water. The pure water got 7 pH, while the normal rain water got 5.4 to 5.6, which is still normal. But the acid rain got 4.2 to 4.4 pH, which is below normal. How does acid rain forms? I'm going to show you a sample of a drawing which I drawn a few hours ago and um, this is how acid rain forms. As you see in the picture, it has a factory that releases smokes, clouds, rain, streams, houses and mountains so this is the factory that burns fossil fuels they are fossilized organisms and those organisms contains of protein and those proteins contains of nitrogen acids and sometimes sulfuric acid as well example if the fossil fuels is burned like um an example of fossil fuel is coals and oils and if that coals and oils got burned they releases nitrogen oxides and sulfur oxides did you get it from the factory they releases smokes which is the nitrogen oxide and the sulfur oxide and um do you call this one which is carried by the wind the wind goes to the clouds and the nitrogen oxide and sulfur oxides collides with the oxygen and the water inside the clouds and they the acid rain is formed did you get it and gases dissolve from rainwater to form a acid rain and then if it falls down or it rains it will go to the streams and that's the time it will um, give a harmful effect to the ecological system which may kill plants uh, animals aquatic animals um, of course to the human health it will it can also give um distraction to the human health so what are the effects of acid rain acid rain has many ecological effects especially on the water streams um lakes oceans and other aquatic environments um acid rain can kill aquatic animals such as fishes and it can also kill you know trees plants and also in our human health so um the air pollution the air pollution such as sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides can cause respiratory diseases or if you already have an existing disease it can lead um it may lead to get worse if we have the existing diseases what are the ways to prevent the acid rain so there are many ways or there are examples to prevent or reduce the acid rain the great um the great way to reduce the acid rain 
is to produce the energy without fossil fuels. Again, instead of using fossil fuels, I mean energy that comes from fossil fuels, we can um, generate an energy um, from renewable resources such as solar and wind energy. Plus, aside from it will reduce the and it will pre prevent the acid rain it can also help the environment to lessen the pollution did you get my point so that's it that's how acid acid rain works and that's how acid rain forms i hope you learned something about the topic and if you have questions just feel free to ask me you can comment down below my video or you can personally ask me on GC. Thank you for your time and have a great day. Goodbye.